Roblox is a wonderful platform where people express their creativity and let their imaginations come to life. Their motto is literally powering imagination. Anyways, a while ago I found an innocent, quirky, and creative game that seemed kinda nice. I scrolled down to the bottom of the page until I reached the related games section. And if you notice, there's one game here that isn't like the others. I looked into this game more and I realized it's an entire fetish roleplay game. And as it turns out, it's not the only one out there. So I decided to make a video going through the most creative games on Roblox, the ones that highlight the website's motto. Not the showcases, not the blocksies, I'm talking about the kinky ones. So why don't we just start? So I decided to begin by playing the game that started this video idea, Snowy Giantess RP. Featuring footsteps and camera shake, a growing selection of fun emotes and poses, grabbing of their players, give them a shoulder ride, give them a ride on your shoe, or just eat them. Oh man, the developer's personality is all based on this kink. I mean seriously, look at her groups. Tiny slaves. Yeah, that's a big red flag right there. So this is an entire fandom kink, but I'm not talking, let's go try it out. Hello and welcome to Snowy Giantess RP. You're welcome to roleplay, hangout, chill, or whatever. Just be tuned to each other and have fun. Yeah, yeah. Check out how to play. Okay, so it looks like there's some like size tool, like other size simulators. Oh my god, look at this. If you want to eat or throw somebody, they need to have abuse enabled in settings. So I feel like that right there is probably a bad sign for this game. So it looks like there's a bunch of girls you know very interacting a lot with this game but my computer really sucks and nothing's loading all right so everything's loaded oh my god okay so and it's not loaded completely but there's someone who's, who's stepping on me and this person's having a fun time this uh, i honestly don't know what to say about this this is so weird so gross these people are having like the best time but it's just so this girl was like uh this would have been nice but listen for that ugly face <laughs> did you hear that squeaky sound effect why the heck am i brown where did i go she ate me i can't do anything it's very like oh my god dude i was trying to escape and then she got me again i don't know if you guys heard that but that was like some eating sound effect get me out of here what the heck? Who put me there? I do not know where the heck am I. Okay, so I've noticed that this game has lots of has lots of emotes for people to play. Um, for tiny, there's like a bunch of these stare, pointing, hug, bow, um, injured, and oh, there's crushed, which is what happened to me earlier. Giant, like you know, stand, stomp, crouch, you know the basics that you see in some size fetish game. This is what they do, like, there's dangle, hug, snuggle, and then there's these stomping things, which is, what happened? I'm not even gonna comment about this. Okay, come on, they're literally, they're literally spamming the, oh, they're literally spamming every single emote on the spawn, they can't do anything. I don't know what to say about this either. I don't know, just spawn it, she's there all dead. Yeah, you dumb girl, how does it feel like? I shouldn't have said that. And it's it's weird because they're not no one's talking. Be, before I, I joined the server, just people speaking another language, then people trying to use admin commands. And there's not really a bunch of people saying anything. I really want to know where these people found this. Well, I found it because I was looking through a game and I and it popped up as like a related one. But I wonder like these these girls if they just looked up like. A size fetish game and they found this and they're like oh yeah time to have some fun and then they did all this the map isn't that bad like it's decently structured there's a movie theater there's a club and there's like some other buildings you can interact with as well so i assume there's some kids i'm not sure that she care about this but i seem like they're just having fun with the little size tool and everything right, this game is probably very very something so i'm gonna go join another server now in this server people are actually interacting with each other remove hats grab me friend touch touch surrender he dodges tickles trip with the feather he'll be fine yes mm, muffled i'm not gonna eat you all right, so hopefully this server is much more interesting than the last one. This girl right here, reality is often disappointing. All right, so for some reason, most of the people are hanging out right here, but let's go see. What are they doing? Where did they get that laser? And they all left immediately as I came here. 
Okay, so it turns out there's an administrator here. I would be lying if I said I was surprised to see furries in this game. Why is this all in slow motion? Alright, it got boring because I'm gonna I'm end this game. So looking back at what I played, I actually thought that there would be much more, you know, severe roleplay. Most of it is just girls just spamming the emotes and there's no talking at all. Other than the admin server, it was very quiet. Looking at the developer's profile, there's a bunch of other size related games and groups out there. I'm trying to see who plays these games unironically and I believe they're either teenagers children going to puberty or actual disgusting people like this group has problems with people asking for feed stuff but let's continue on with the next one so we are at poop eating simulator remastered this this is just so gross and if y'all don't think this has nothing to do with kinky stuff then you never seen the deep side of the web oh man oh my god okay so i guess this video is gonna take way longer than i thought it would but first, let's go try out this poop eating game. See what it offers us. First impressions. All right, so it looks like this game is a egg hunt, like the egg hunt 2021, which was supposed to happen. Never mind. This game is literally just you touch your poop and that's it. You just walk and touch poop and get fatter. Wait, this is like one of those simulators where you like exercise and you grow big. Oh my god! Every time you jump, you fart and it makes you do like some giant jump. <laughs> The game has different types of poop, like this cactus poop, this traffic cone poop, this lava poop, and this volcano poop. Like what D D D D D D D said, we have to eat poop and get fat. That's basically the entire game. See, this right here is what happens when you eat too much Taco Bell. What's funny about this is that when you grow, your head doesn't grow. So this person literally has no head. For some reason, the buildings disappear when you touch the poop that's on top of them. This is the next Godzilla vs. Kong. The only good thing about this game is this frog that's just chilling over here. The most realistic poop is this green one. I'm surprised there isn't much more to this game. I really thought it'd be much more like exciting like the previous game. Let's go check out this disco area. Okay, okay, this is very loud, but I think this is like the best part in the entire game. It even has whatever this poop is supposed to be. I'm surprised this game doesn't even have stuff like trails, pets, or rebirths, like other simulators. This game got boring. I'm gonna go drown myself. All right, so this this game was weird. Like they say, eat some event themed poops for memes. Like what? What is memeable about eating poop? Well, it doesn't look like this game has a good like to dislike ratio compared to the previous game we tried. This person's username matches the entire mindset when these people were creating the game poop and pee fart haha and it looks like there's these kids who are fans of this game but whatever let's go check out this size simulator game thing all right this game is actually innocent but this game eat people and grow big kill giants grow big eat people throw everything this doesn't sound too bad though that picture you know like dislike ratio though this guy right here says all you do is you kill stupid people and then eat them it's legit the grossest game on roblox the game trash the stupid game trash it looks like everybody hates this game but whatever we're gonna try this game get close to small players and click to grab them so i assume this game oh my god Okay, like I was saying, I think this game is supposed to be like, not like another, you know, size fetish game with some vor included into it. Like there's a bunch of giant people and you literally just find other people and eat them. This girl right here, she's literally just picking up every single person and eating them. Oh my God, I'm gonna go eat this girl. Oh my God. All right, so you basically just find people, click on them and eat them, and then you grow bigger. Let's see if this girl's gonna um, notice me when I'm right next to her. Yeah, and she did. I honestly do not know what the heck happened there. You know, I think this game is kind of like Agario, where everyone starts out small, and then you eat people, and you grow bigger, and you keep doing that for the rest of the game. You know what? I've been mostly just, like, searching around the game, but I think I'm gonna try to um, participate in the game, see if I can um, get a high score. Oh my god, I got two people at the same time. I know that she can like eat me no matter what I do. Just like Agario, when you get bigger, you get slower. I'm just eating every single person that comes near me. Girl, no, get out of here, get out of here. This game has a lot of dislikes, and I can assume it's because people get really mad about how it's 
really hard to scroll when there's like so much people bigger than you. Look at the chat, like everyone is mad. This is so hilarious. I'm just spam clicking and hopefully um, I'll eat with whoever gets close to me. I'm not sure if you notice. Let me see if I could increase the volume. <gasps> but there's, there's burping sound effects every time you eat someone, which is, you know, kind of um, gross when you think about it, considering the fact that you're literally eating people. Let's see how big this girl will be after she eats me. Okay, because I don't really don't care about this game. What? Okay, I guess she died. I realized I forgot to lower the volume when that happened. But I assume I think I'm the biggest person in the entire server. It's funny because I was trying to like condemn these weird games when in this server I'm literally the the most powerful person. Okay, I don't know what the heck happened. Somehow I died. Um, what? I was the biggest person here. Oh my god. Okay, I understand how frustrating it is when you're very small. Yeah. Damn. Like. Well, since I'm no longer the bigger fish, I think it might be time to finish playing this game. But with these two people now in charge. Alright, this game was probably the most hilarious game out of all of them, and I was more engaged in this game than the previous two. I feel like this game isn't too bad, although, you know, the vor parts have like burping sound effects. What concerned me the most before I tried out this game was the thumbnail art. I never noticed. But the noob that's being eaten is full of spit. So, yeah, that's something to think about. Look at the group wall. The opinions to this game are kind of mixed. This game is very high quality. Like, it's very polished for a game like this. And there's so many dislikes to it all because it was hard, although I was able to be the biggest person in the entire server. So I feel like this game has too much hate. But the game still would have been better if it didn't have, you know, this thing and all of the burping sound effects and all the other creepy stuff. But whatever, it's time to go to the next game. The last game for this video, Digestive Adventure Obby. Uh oh, looks like Jasper has had far too much to eat. Get ready for a new stomach twisting, fart inducing fun obby. Play with friends, play with family, play with food, everything goes. So, looking at the description alone, yeah, this is probably gonna be like the true for a game. Like, I know the other games had some references to war, but this is probably the true one out there. There's actually not a lot of people playing right now, so I'm not sure how this game is gonna be. It might actually be the lowest quality out of all of them, but we'll see right now. Let's go try it out. All right, first impressions. Music is innocent, so I'm not sure this game will probably be too bad, but you never know. Hey, what does this guy say? I'm developing drugs to make people smaller. Hey, biggest guess you get shrunk some duty to you. That's like the perfect example of war. All right, let's enter. Dr. France invented a drug that makes it go smaller. That day, you came to Dr. France and found the medicine on the table. You thought of doctor's, doctor's candy, so you ate it. First for a moment, you become the size of a pill, you fall into Jasper's lunch. Wait, okay, it's going so fast. A very good moment, Dr. France threw you into- Can this goes too fast, honestly. Before I play this obby, I just want to say that the creators of this game literally drew Roblox War as a prologue to the entire plot. Alright, so I guess we're in the mouth, although this is level 1 mouse. There's another girl with me, and she died. Well, I don't need her anyway. Oh no, you got bitten by Jasper. I'm just gonna wait for these two girls. I wanna see what they do. This is the throw. There's- Okay, this goes too fast. Did those girls literally go into the trachea? Alright, ladies, come with me. We're going to the esophagus. Alright, this is level 2 esophagus, but I am on- But the team says something different. Below Jasper's stomach. It's moving to- Oh my god. The stomach acid will digest you. Don't fall- Alright, so this is the stomach. I guess we're going to do an obby. We're gonna go- Stomach acid is corrosive. I guess we're gonna go get digested by stomach acid. I assume this game is an educational game because of how like, like dark bacteria does this and like stomach acid does this and other stuff. So I guess I could give the game like a pass or something, but it feels all suggestive, especially with drawing a robust character getting freaking eaten. Like come on, that's obviously Vor, right? I don't know what happened to the other girls. I hope they're okay. Nope, the girls are safe and sound. All right, come with me. Lady, what are you doing? All right, we're entering the py py pylorus. This is a small intestine. Please avoid the- Yeah, it goes too fast. I'm not even gonna read that. Damn, Epic Minigames got a really good update. I know this is supposed to be like Vili, Vili, whatever, whatever how you pronounce it, but it looks like hair from a dog or a carpet. Okay, girl, I'm gonna be you. Mm, I'm gonna win. And I won. I wonder if they assume that I'm a girl because I'm using an alt account. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this section is so weird. There's a bunch of 
poop models and stuff. This part is just so weird. It's like a poop obby. Oh my god. Uh... I guess this is the end? Like, you get pooped because you get sent down a toilet? So, that was it. I assume you do get flushed out because technically you reach the end of the large intestine. There's also an immune system, Obby, which is weird because all they did was like, advertise the digestive part. And this isn't really impressive, so let's just go leave the game. Alright, this game was kind of quick. I honestly thought there'd be more, but at the same time, I didn't really expect a lot of this. This game is educational, so I guess I could give it a pass. But that drawing of a robust character getting swallowed probably like what makes me want to consider this game a war game. I honestly do not know what the heck is going on in the group wall of the studio that made this game because there's so much arguing going on right now. There's also not really much to discuss, so that's basically it. Okay, so this video was a wild, wild ride. I know this is completely different from the last four videos I made. I still don't know what the heck I went through, and honestly, it's weird going through the weird side of Roblox. But it's nice to see that Roblox truly is powering imagination. Anyway, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you want to see videos like this soon in the future, or if you want me to go back to the discussion types. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This is my first time making gameplay videos, so comment down below below what you liked and what you disliked so I can make this better. And I'll see you guys next time.